Hello everyone. Eh, unumfundo wakagunene. Ngikulele eh Chaga Start. Chaga Start is in Bad Plus area. Um, ngalela po veli primary ami. Ngaze ngakiti skolo. And then, ngikuliswa abo malumu ami no mama so nkulele ekaya le business my uncles were into business so i develop that passion of loving a business it's a very tender age so um i went to tertiary where I did a diploma in human resource. Um, and then I felt that my studied my studies at NOSA where I did a same track uh, she rep hira and then I got a job at the South African Police Service in two thousand and seven. I serve the government from 2007 until 2018. Uh, while I was working at the South African Police Service, I used to tell my colleagues that, you know what, guys, I don't want to spend more than 10 years working. I, I, I want to be my own boss. Some, they never take me seriously. Some, they just said, no, she's just laughing or what. But deep inside, I knew that this is what I want. I don't want to work for somebody else for the rest of my life. I'm still young. I want beautiful things for my kids, for my family. I want to do a difference, a difference in my life, in my family, even in the community. So in 2018, I made that decision. I left my job to start my own business. So I'm in this business with my husband. We are doing panel beating and mechanic. Uh, I'm on the mechanic side and he's on the uh, panel beating side but it's in the same yard, just different buildings. Uh, I have a very special passion for this men's industry job. I love this work that I'm doing. It's very challenging, especially on my side. So far, I'm working with the government, I'm working with Transnet, I'm working with SAPS. I'm also approaching other companies and sectors. So far, all the transport officers that I'm working with in this department, they are males. It's very challenging as a young woman to work with males. Some, they don't take you seriously. They said, what do you know as a woman? Some, they're gonna respect you. Uh, so far, I'm coping, doing well. <laughs> and the services that we render, uh, on the mechanic side, we do services, minor services, major services. We do uh, higher truck cranes. Uh, on the panel beating side, we do panel beating. We do resprays, bumper repairs, polishing, detailing, anything you need concerning your vehicle, we assist. Uh, 
The name of my company is Indlungulu. Indlungulu Auto. And then the panel beating site is Sipeutula Body Repair. So, going back from growing up, as I mentioned that I was raised by my mom with my uncles, my grandmother and my grandfather. Unfortunately, my grandfather and grandmother passed away. Um, my uncles were in business while we were growing up. Uh, one of them is having a butchery. One of them is having a general dealer shop, taverns, and also one of them was doing this uh, mechanic that I'm doing. But he was doing it, you know, in the backyard under the trees. It was a long time ago, but it was working for him. So I look at that and I see that it was working for him. The more I grow up, I thought about it. You know, vehicles are being manufactured each and every day. Even now, <laughs> they are doing a new Polo, a new model BMW and stuff. And also, they are also being in accidents each and every day. They are also broken down each and every day. So you won't go wrong in this business. That's what I, I thought. Even in this COVID-19, I learn. I look at this business that I'm doing. I didn't struggle much in this lockdown because I was working with uh, essential vehicles. I didn't struggle because I was also scared of this COVID-19, but they called me at home, police, traffic officers, ambulance, you know. Then I realized that this is a very good business. This is a very good business and I will stick to it. So when I was watching my uncle doing that um, mechanic business behind our home, growing up, looking at him, looking at him. That's where my passion started. You won't go wrong when it comes to vehicles because there will be no time that there, there will be no broken car or there are no more manufacturing cars. Cars are being manufactured each and every day. That's what I learned from him, that I'm gonna do the same business, but not in the backyard. I will do it professionally. It will work. And then that's what I did. I searched, I researched. Uh, I found out that you must be registered with RMI, register with banks to get merchant code, find information. Then that's what I did. And then I called the RMI office they told me that if you want to register with us, you must have these requirements they sent me. Then I went to buy the stuff. So that's what I learned from him, that I'm going to do the same business, but in a different way so that I can do better. So as I mentioned that I was working for the police, I took my pension and started this mechanic business. There were so many equipments that were needed there. You must have a lift, you must have um, engine cranes, you must have spray boot, compressors, tools, many stuff that you must have to start because they should come inspectors to come and inspect your place they must find all the equipment there. So that's how I started in Lungul Auto. Yes, this business is very <laughs> dominated by men. As a woman 
working with men, young women as I am, first of all, you must be very self-disciplined because some, they are not disciplined. So you yourself, you must know your story, know your struggle, know what you want and set your record straight. Not um, in a bad way, be nice, but know your story. Don't be just, be that girl. You know what I mean. <laughs> so it's a very nice business. So now they are getting used to me. They know me now. All the departments, we are working very smoothly and it's going very well. So I wanna, I wanna inspire young women, especially women. Do not be afraid. Look at your situation, talk to yourself, ask yourself, is this what I want? Is this where I want to see myself in the next coming five years? Are you satisfied where you are? If you are not, then take a step and make a difference. And when you want to make a difference, don't do it only to yourself. Make a difference to your family and to the community. Today, I feel very humble to, 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 to make a difference in someone's family. I'm working with men, the husbands and brothers, to pay someone who is a husband to somebody and see a smile in his face. I feel very happy. It's, 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 it's a very nice, uh, Thing to make a difference so if you feel that this is not what I want do something with that don't stay when you feel that I'm no longer comfortable so this was my decision that I don't want to spend more than 10 years working I want to be my own boss that was my decision so as a young woman, you can also do it. And mind you, what a man can do, a woman can do it even better. When I'm saying what a man can do, a woman can do it better. I mean, like for example, in my workshop, I used to sit down with my employees and tell them that, you know what, guys, we are helping each other here. Let's make this work. I don't need any comebacks here. Once a car comes here to be fixed, it must be fixed and go. Once the car comes back, it must come back with another problem, not the same problem. And again, if you have a workshop, hire someone who is qualified, like I'm having a qualified mechanic with a trade test, who oversee all the work that we are doing. And put your papers in place, register, don't be a fly by night. You understand? Don't be a fly by night. Have an office, have a reception, make your things professionally. COVID-19, I noticed that it affected most businesses. Even the bigger businesses, they were affected. But what I can say, to me, I benefited in this COVID-19 because I'm working with essential vehicles. So it didn't affect me at all. In fact, I benefited, I benefited a lot because most of uh, workshops, especially bigger workshops around Emelo, they were closed, especially for the white people. They were closed and I was opened. So they're going to call me, Transit Solution will call me and said, there is this car, can you fix? Maybe in a day I can receive four cars, five cars in a day. So during the COVID-19, I worked. I didn't struggle at all. That, that was when I realized that I made a, a right choice of a business. 
as I mentioned that uh, I did HR, I have a diploma in HR. Uh, yes, it did help me now. It, it's still helping me because now I know how to file my records, doing contracts for my employees. I know how to keep my paperwork neat in a filing system. Even on the system, I know how to file. I know how to do pay slips for my employees. So, yes, it did help me. Even the same track that I mentioned that I did at NASA, it did help me because I also have first aid that I did at NASA. The she, the hire, I can notice the hazard and put it in the right place. So, even an employee, if one of my employees got injured, I do have a certificate in first aid. I can do it myself. So some of the studies that I've done, they are helping me now in my own business. I can handle it myself. As for the future plans, I want to see in Lungulu grow. I need to see it having branches in different places. I even want to see it grow going overseas because I will not just stick on mechanic only. I want to learn, I want to research, I want to know what is being done now in this time. So there are so many accessories, people, they are decorating their cars. I want to learn more stuff. I want to grow, I want to do wheel alignment, I want to put the rims, I want to do a lot of stuff. So this business is very wide. I must learn more stuff and grow this business to see it being a franchise one day. And another thing that is very important, um, I will encourage people, including young women outside there, to Go for this trade test for mechanic and spray painting. We are really struggling to find qualified people to do this work. Please go outside there, do your trade test on mechanic, panel beating, spray painting. Have a, a red seal, have a trade test on that one. Uh, I even now hired a white guy due to Black people, it's very scarce to find a person with that qualification. I want to advise you to study this qualification, do your trade test on mechanic, do your trade test on panel beating and spray painting, have a trade test, red seal, because we are really struggling to find young people with that qualification. I even hired a, a white guy because most black people, they don't have this qualification. So please, ladies, this, this, this qualification is very much important and you can do a living with it. Have a trade test in spray painting, panel beating, and mechanic. Do your research, there's olifants. Do your research, you'll find the relevant places where you can study. And then my contact numbers, if maybe you want to bring your car, my number is 79 2829 And my office number is 017-811-4448. And my husband's number is 073-217-92. You can email us in lungulu.co.za. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.